Today we're going to have a debate, and the topic will be: Does our education help us to become innovators? Now divide yourselves into two groups. Each group should have a minimum of five animals. Oh, where are the others? Let's have the debate in the evening. The other animals will be back from work by then. But it will be dark. We'll just have to do a written debate. Write whether you think the education you get helps you to become innovative. Argue your points, and I'll review them tomorrow. If we could find a light, then we could debate with everyone in the evening. Good idea. Mama will be so happy. But where can we get a light? We need electricity. Extension cable. Good idea. But where do we plug it in? Lucky the cable is so long. We can plug it in somewhere else where there is electricity. Go 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 go! go, go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's it. Go go go! Ah! Uh -huh. At your house, Kiduchu. Where can we watch the rest of the match? They were so close. I wonder if they scored on that attack. Uh, what bad luck! Kiduchu's house is the only one with a satellite, but no electricity. What's this? An extension cable. Where did it come from? Let's go find out. This cable is so long. Maybe it doesn't have an end. Oh my! What happened? What's with your feathers? We were trying to bring electricity to our school. Then the cable fell into the water. I felt all tingly. My feathers were standing right up. Straight That's what caused electricity to go off at Kiduchu's house. You better leave the extension cable. Never touch any kind of cables or wires when they're in water or wet. But we need electricity. For what? We want to have a debate, but most of the animals are busy during the day, so they can only come to school at night. But at night it's dark and we don't have electricity. If we manage to bring electricity, Mama will be so happy. We brought electricity to our school. We can help bring electricity to the forest. Koba, that won't be easy. Where do we even start? By finding the school a source of electricity. But that's what we were trying to do. Well, that didn't work. We need to figure out why the extension cable caused the power outage at Kiluchu's house. And then find a better and safer way to get electricity to your school. You three had better go and rest. Yeah. You've been through a lot today. We'll find a way to bring you electricity. Don't worry kids, we'll soon have the electricity again. It looks like someone was trying to borrow electricity from us. Their cable must have a problem, so the breaker switched off the power. We found the end of the cable in a puddle in the forest. Ah, that's why the circuit breaker switched off. I've unplugged the cable from the socket now. Hopefully now I'll be able to switch the circuit breaker back on. Baba, what are the gloves for? Electricity is a big topic. You know, electricity is a type of energy that can travel. For electricity to travel, it needs a complete loop to follow through, called a circuit. 
A circuit? Yes. A circuit is a closed path that allows electricity to flow from one point to another. The circuit enables electricity to enter our house and be used to power different things, like the kettle for boiling water, the lights, the TV, even the iron. Electricity can travel through our bodies too and cause injuries, sometimes even cause the heart to stop beating. That is called electrocution. That's why I wear these special rubber gloves because they prevent the electricity from flowing through my body. Remember, not all gloves stop electricity flow, and sometimes even gloves aren't enough. Okay, but you could have just said that your gloves prevent electrocution. There was no need to tell us the whole story. We're going to miss the rest of the game. But wait, why did the electricity go off? Aha, come on, I can show you. Houses with electricity have a system to manage the flow of electricity. The role of this here circuit breaker is to control the flow of the electricity for the safety of the house. Sometimes the electrical circuits have a problem, like when that cable fell into the water. That caused unexpected changes in flow of electricity in the circuit, so the circuit breaker switched the power off. But how? The switch creates a space in the circuit. That means the electricity can't flow through and complete the circuit. So the circuit is broken. But how did the water cause a change in the circuit? Water carries particles that electricity can travel through. So the electricity can travel through the water. The circuit breaker detects that there is a change in the flow of electricity and switches off. You cannot switch it back on until you fix the problem that was causing the surge. In this case, until you unplug the cable from the socket. And that's why any electrical wire getting wet is very dangerous. Don't touch the water and don't touch the wire. Exactly! So... Ask away! We need electricity, but it can be dangerous if it travels to our bodies. We can't wear gloves everywhere. How can we use electricity safely? Mmm, good question. I remember there was a song we used to sing when I was a kid, when they brought electricity to the village for the first time. Let me teach you the song. It'll help you. It goes like this. Kokotoa now has electricity. It's an energy that travels in a circuit. But to use it, you have to mind the following. So that you are not harmed. Always stay safe around electricity. Always stay safe around electricity. Always stay safe. Around electricity, always stay safe Around electricity Put nothing in a socket, don't overload a socket Stay away from power lines Keep water from electricity and metals from appliances Unplug devices once charged Kokotoa now has electricity It's an energy that travels in a circuit but to use it, you have to mind the following So that you are not harmed Always stay safe around electricity 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 If you're a child, seek assistance from an adult first For dealing with damaged wires Electricity, oh, you'll get yourself hurt. Kokotoa now has electricity. It's an energy that travels in a circuit. But to use it, you have to mind the following so that you are not harmed. Always stay safe around electricity. Always stay safe around electricity. Always stay safe. Electricity, always stay safe around electricity. Nice song! Nice song. <laughs> I knew you'd like it. I have another question. Guys, we're missing the football match. You just go and watch the match. I want to learn more about electricity. Great. Let's discuss while I finish shaving. The next thing you need to know about are conductors. They're in second half! Whoa! 2-0! Guys, what did we promise Tiny Tembo and the chicks? 
We'll help them after the match. It will be dark by then. We won't be able to do anything. Koba is the one who promised them and he's learning about electricity right now. Wait till the match is over, then we'll go. Let's go, Amani. They'll find us when they're ready. We know that electricity can travel. That's why we tried to use the cable so we could have electricity travel from Kiduchu's house to the forest school. But we need to find a different source of electricity. Koba created a wind turbine. We can try to create one too. We don't have enough wind in the forest to use wind power because of all the trees. The video banda guy uses solar energy. There's no way we can get enough sunlight to use solar energy to create electricity here. Exactly. There's too many trees. We can't use electricity from home and we can't use wind or solar energy. about with the radio yeah i'm a musician i have to listen to music to get inspiration you never know when a good song will come on a battery we need a battery but how will the battery give us electricity hmm that's true. If the battery is the source of electricity, then it can only provide electricity if it flows in a complete circle. Koba! You made it! We already have a battery as a source of our electricity. But we don't know how we can make the electricity flow. Ooh, that's easy. We need to create a circuit. A circuit? The battery can only produce electricity if there is a complete circuit. Hold a circuit. Electricity is energy that flows. So we need to create something that can allow electricity to flow from the battery to the light bulb and from the light bulb back to the battery again. Okay, what do we need to create a circuit? We need the source of energy, like the battery, and the thing which the electricity will power, like the light bulb, and something which will allow the electricity to flow from the battery to the bulb and back to complete the circuit. Baba Kiduchu taught me that materials that allow electricity to go through them are called conductors. Great! So what kind of things can we use as conductors? Um, things that conduct electricity? I forgot to ask for examples. Koba! Well, we'll just have to test things out to find out ourselves. But let's start with a bulb. Where will we get one? You said that's a bulb? It looks like a funny face maker. Funny face maker? Can we see it? <laughs> we have a battery and a light bulb. Now we need things that the electricity can travel through. Conductors? So that we can complete the circle of electricity. Exactly! exactly. Okay then, off you go find some. Connect the other shoelace to the light bulb and the battery too to complete the Why circuit. Why isn't the bulb lighting up? I guess shoelace doesn't allow electricity flow. Maybe the shoelaces aren't conductors of electricity. Let's continue trying different things that could conduct the electricity around the circuit. Aww. 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 Yeah. Again? Again? Still it's still working. not working. <sighs> None of these conduct electricity. Let's try these last ones. Please, light bulb, go on! Nothing. Wait! The circuit is incomplete! Oh, yeah! I forgot! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Now we know that wire conducts electricity. And shoelaces, rubber bands, and sticks don't conduct electricity. Now I understand why Baba Kiduchu wore rubber gloves while working with electricity. Plastic also doesn't conduct electricity. Wait! But the wire has plastic too. Ah! 
The plastic is just on the outside of the wire. The copper wire is inside. So the copper part is the part that conducts electricity. And the plastic part prevents electrocution if you have to touch the wire. The battery will run out soon. We better switch it off. If we remove the wire from the bulb, then the electricity won't be able to flow. And if we connect it again, the flow of electricity begins again. So if we disconnect the wire with bulb, electricity fails to flow. Because we've created a space in a circuit, which the electricity like can't how the circuit breaker switches itself off to stop the flow of electricity in our houses. <laughs> It's getting dark. Do we have our debate? No, it's too dark. Woohoo! How did you manage that? Easy. We learned about the flow of electricity and how to make a circuit. The education we get helps us to be innovative. For example, we were able to make a circuit with a battery and the light bulb and bring electricity to our forest classroom. And now, all the animals can learn together in the evening. Yay! <laughs> Hello, sir. I need to build the best go-kart for the Kokotoa go-kart race. Do you have any extra cardboard I could have, please? Uh, yeah, sure. I was going to toss them out anyway. Okay, here you go, son. Good luck. Thank you, but I won't need luck. I got this. What's up? Have you heard about the go-kart race? Oh yeah, a group of us are going to work on our carts together right now. Want to join us? No way! I don't need help and I don't want anyone to copy my brilliant ideas. I can build the best go-kart. Suit yourself. See you on the race track. You'll see my dust. They say to always cross at the zebra crossing, but it's so far. Hmm. I've got no time to waste. Gotta get started on my go-kart. It says I should not cross here, and I don't see anyone else crossing here, but... No one's coming. I'll run fast. Oh. oh, my leg! Get him to the hospital. Let's carry him to my car. I'll drive. Where is our Utu gone? You would all rather take photos than helping someone out? I still can't believe you crossed the street at the corner. I was in a hurry to get home. I've done it plenty of times before, but this time... Baraka, we always have to cross at a zebra crossing. Being safe is more important than being fast. Even when you're crossing at a zebra crossing, always wait and listen to see if a car is... Or motorbike. Or anything is coming before you cross. Okay, I know I was wrong because there was a zebra crossing. But what do I do if there isn't one? There are lots of roads in Kokotoa that don't have them. If and only if there is no zebra crossing, then look for an adult or a large group of people crossing the street. You can cross with them. 
and only cross the road when you have a clear view of the road. It's hard for you and the driver to see around the bend. Oh. I wanted to see you how you are doing after the accident. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. I'm sorry about your leg. I'm sorry too. Trust me, I've learned my lesson. I realize how lucky I am that I was only hurt a little hmm. and no one else was affected. <clears throat> no one else was affected, right? <sighs> Just focus on getting better, okay? Whoa, those are beautiful drawings. Thank you. I love to draw. I do too. I'm a potter, so I draw designs and details on my crafts. I'll show you, but unfortunately, all 60 of my recent pottery pieces broke during the accident. <gasps> it's okay. I can make new ones, but it will take a while because it takes me one hour to make one bowl. So how many hours does it take to make 60 bowls? Mm, you can do the math. Hmm, if making one bowl takes one hour, then making 60 bowls would take 60 hours? <laughs> I put a lot of love and care into each bowl. Often, doing something slowly rather than quickly can lead to the best quality results. Like street crossing. <laughs> Wait! We can help you make the balls. I mean, I can't, but my friends can help. Well, if one person can make one bowl per hour, how many bowls can six people make in an hour? That will be six bowls an hour. So, with six bowls an hour, how long would it take to make 60 bowls? Hmm. Ten, Ten hours. hours. Yay! Let's do it tomorrow! I appreciate your enthusiasm, but 10 hours in one day is too much. How about we all work 2 hours a day for 5 days? 2 hours times 5 days is 10 hours. Perfect! So if we start on Monday, then we can get it done by Friday. And if my leg is better in time, I can make my go-kart and race on Saturday too! Do you like my shirt? Oh, definitely. I picked it specifically to wear when we're walking home, since it might be a bit dark. With something this bright, a driver will absolutely be able to see me. Hmm. What? I packed this one because I thought it was cool. But maybe I shouldn't wear it if I'll be in danger. Don't worry, Kiduchu. While bright clothing can help drivers see you, so can a large group. With four of us, we should be a large enough group to be visible. Phew! Hey, I think this is it. It matches the address. Hello? Welcome, welcome. How are you all? How is Baraka? He's all right. He said he can't help, but he really needs to rest his leg. I understand. I am grateful you are all here. You show that you have the spirit of Utu because you are willing to work together to make these balls. Let's get started. I'll show you what to do. Wonderful! These balls are very unique. We have put our own twist on them. We will leave the pieces here to dry and then continue to work tomorrow. Bye, Bye Mr. Mr. Tico. Tico! See you, See tomorrow. you tomorrow! We need to cross the street. What's a good place? First, we check if there is a zebra crossing or traffic police. Are there any? Nope. So let's see if there's an adult crossing who we can ask for help. Without an adult, we will need to make sure to cross in a large group with Kiduchi in the middle as she cannot be seen. Do you see a clear spot?
Okay, this seems like a straight road. Great! Looking at both sides of the road, I don't see anyone. Listening, I don't hear any sounds. No sound of a motor or rumble of a truck approaching. Let's cross then. Kitties, where are you going? To visit Baraka. He got hit by a motorcycle, and the doctor told him he has to stay in bed until his leg is healed. It would have been scary if no one was there to help him. Poor Baraka. Pinky, Bluey, and I once witnessed a hit and run. There was a young lady walking along a footpath along a busy road. As she was walking along, the car came speeding by. It was trying to pass all of the other cars. Vroom, 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 and it swerved onto the footpath. Did the car not see the lady? Who knows? Cars are not ever supposed to drive onto footpaths. In this case, there was even a large clear sign saying this road is for pedestrians and bicycles only. Pinky and Bluey stayed back to help the victim and I flew after that car. I saw the plate number before it drove off. Then I reported the plate number to the police. I heard later on the radio that the driver was found and arrested. It's better to drive safely rather than quickly. No one's life is worth getting somewhere a few minutes early. What happened to the lady? She recovered in a hospital and is now a good teacher at Kokotoa Primary, I hear. Wow, Mamandege. I wish everyone could be responsible and look out for each other. Pinky and Bluey looked out for the lady, and you helped notify the police to solve the case. <laughs> That's Utu, my friend. made the speed of finishing the pottery so much faster. Yes, I think it's because working and cooperating together has kept us motivated, optimistic, and made pottery making fun. And of course, 12 hands are better than two. Hmm. Mr. Tico has been making pottery for years, but you working with him made him much faster than he was by himself. If I'm so fast by myself, I can't imagine how fast Timok will make me. Can we all go to the market to buy supplies for the go-kart? We can then build the go-kart together. Okay, let's do it. Let's go to the market to get the supplies. Stop, yellow means slow down, and green means go. Utu means working together to follow the rules of the road. Utu means helping each other to follow the signs and their code. Red means stop, yellow means slow down, and green means Looking both ways before crossing. 
crossing the streets. Utu means watching out for others rather than just your needs. Red means stop, yellow means slow down, and green means go. Baraka, am I good to go? I need to merge into the left lane, and I don't see any cars. Why wouldn't you be? Whoa! Where did that car come from? That was a close one. Tracks of blind spots, especially on each side. Sometimes I can't see cars or people near me. If you want a truck to see you, you have to make sure you can see the truck side mirrors. Some large trucks even have blind spots directly in front and directly behind the truck, depending on how much cargo they are carrying. Whoa! There are so many road rules to remember. Don't worry. The key is to remember that in order to be safe on the road, you have to see all the traffic and all of the traffic has to see you. Okay, Baraka. Now that we have all helped you collect things, what's next? How do we build this go-kart? Do you know, Baraka? Um, no. Who could we ask for help? Some of the other competitors did talk about working together earlier. If I can apologize for how rude I was to them earlier, they may help us. Hello, Tumo. Oh, hi, Baraka. I'd like to speak with you for a moment to apologize if that's okay. Sure, go ahead. I can handle the customers for now. Tumo, I'm sorry for the way I behaved towards you and your friends earlier this week. I understand now that you are showing the spirit of Utu by asking me to work together with you all. Please forgive me. You seem to have changed from earlier this week. Yes, well, I got into a bit of an accident. No, no. I mean the way you are thinking, not just the way you are looking. Mm. Do you think that we were here in time for the competition? I don't know. I hope so. But now the competition is two days away and I still have the cast on. I only started using crutches today. Mm. I can't speak for others, but I would like to help you. Really? Yes. We can make you a go-kart in a very cool way. What if we made it so you didn't have to pedal with your feet? If we make it so you pedal with your hands, then you can race without hurting your leg. I sure am, Tumo. If I win, I owe it to you and my friends. Without you, I never would have thought to power the go-kart with my hands. Racers, the race is about to begin. Make final preparations. Racers, clear the field. Now remember, the winner will be the one who is the fastest and finishes the race in the least number of seconds. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! What do I do? Hmm, what if I stuck around the building through that alleyway to get around these carts?
Racer 10. That's me. You finished in 305 seconds. Racer 7. Yes. You finished in 300 seconds. You have won by five seconds. Yes. Wait a minute. I didn't see him. For part of the race, I think he may have cheated. Well, I couldn't get past the block of go-karters, so I went down a side alleyway instead. I didn't realize it was against the rules. Hmm, our rules don't say you have to stick on the track. That's true, but shouldn't he be disqualified because other players did stay on the track? How do you know if Racer 7 is actually the fastest? What if his shortcut made his track shorter rather than the same length as the other players? I have an idea. The racer with the highest speed is a winner, right? If they travel different distances and finished at different times, we can find out who is the fastest by using the formula speed is distance divided by time. That's a good idea. All racers begin right at zero seconds. We know that racer 10 had a total race time of 305 seconds. Racer 7 had a total race time of 300 seconds. Now let's see the distance each racer drove from this map of Kokotoa. Racer 10 drove on the original track. She drove for a total of 1000 meters. Racer 7 drove a different route. Judging from the map, he drove a total of 100 meters less for 900 meters. The speedest driver will have a higher number for distance traveled over time. So if we divide distance by time, we have... The math shows it! Our winner with the fastest speed is Racer 10 at 3.28 meters per second. Racer 7 comes in second at 3.00 meters per second. Good race, Tumo. You too, Baraka. Congrats on second place. You did a great job. That was well deserved. Thank you. That was a very close race. It came down to seconds. I may have been the best racer, but you definitely have the best go-kart. It's so cool. I agree. I am lucky to have had help from a lot of my friends to make it what it is. You did such a great job racing, Baraka. Thank you all. Otu means that. If someone in our community wins, we all win, right? Right. Well then, in that case, it means that we have all just won third, second, and first place. I don't know what the formula would tell us, but regardless of our speed and distance, I think it's time to celebrate. <laughs> Kiduchu, it's your birthday! You don't have to make your wish now, Kiduchu. Uh -huh. You can save it for a time when you need it most. Congratulations, Kiduchu! You are another year older! And you know what that means? You've completed another trip around the sun! But Mama Dege, Kiduchu has never been to the sun! <laughs> we don't need to go to the sun to journey around it! But how can we travel around the sun if we're here on the Earth? Aha! But on the Earth, we are traveling around the sun. We are traveling around it all the time. Again and again. It's called orbiting. Orbiting? Just imagine, this here is the sun and I am the <laughs> Earth. You don't look much like the Earth, Mama and <laughs> <laughs> That's 
why I said, imagine I am the Earth. You see, kids? So the Earth orbits the sun like this. Round and round it goes, moving every second of every minute of every day. You see? Whoa. So did we just circle the sun right now? <laughs> well, it's not that fast. It takes a whole year for the Earth to complete a journey around the sun. Hold on. That means every time I turn a year older, I've completed another journey around the sun. Exactly! Yeah. Congratulations, Congratulations. 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 Yeah. I was born at 9 p.m., so technically, I don't turn 12 until 9 p.m. tonight. That means I still have three hours left until I've completed my 12th journey around the sun. Hey, three hours? That's ages. Can't we have the birthday pilau right now? I'm hungry. Hey, Gadere, where Ooh. is that pillow you promised us? Yeah, I'm hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait right here. Gadere's famous pillow is coming right up. Oh, food! I will go and get my chicks. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> But I guess this bowl of pilau is pretty big. Hmm, is it a good idea to take a lift? Okay, let's go. Bad my pillow! Huh? <gasps> Gadere, what if he's in trouble? Let's go find him. But what if he comes back and no one's here? Okay, here's the plan. Barack and I will stay here in case Ngadera comes back. Good idea, Koba. Kibena, Amani, let's go investigate. offered him a lift. It's no big deal. People get lifts in cars and lorries all the time. No way! You should never take lifts from anyone you don't know. No matter how nice the person seems, or how great the car or spaceship looks, always put your safety first. We have to help find Gedere. Sorry if I'm getting really upset. I just... Worry about my friend getting into trouble. Don't worry, Kibena. We may just be kids, but kids can help keep other kids safe. Maybe Gadera didn't know not to take lifts with strangers. Like me until a few minutes ago. As soon as we find him, that'll be the first thing we tell him. How can we find him if we don't know where they're taking him? Aha! A clue! Crater Critters Daycare, the moon, outer space. I bet this is where they... The moon? Outer space? How can we help Gadere while he's way up on the moon? Wait, where's the moon? Uh, don't be silly, Amani. The moon is always up in space. Huh? <sighs> Great. 
first we've lost Nidere, and now we've lost the moon. If we could just find a way to get to space, then I'm sure we'll find the moon. Moons don't just disappear. And Gadara needs us. Hiruchu, you're the one who wants to be an astronaut. How can we make it to outer space? The first female astronaut in East Africa, in fact. Astronauts use rockets, but I don't see any lying around here. Unless... What? I still have my birthday wish to make. Do you think it could really work? It's worth a try. For my birthday, I wish we were in outer space. Uh, it's no use. It didn't work. find the moon and save Ngedere from those aliens. But where is the moon? That's weird. I thought the moon was always in the sky. Yeah, it should be right here. What if the aliens have taken the moon too? Ah, of course we can't see the moon. We can't? No, because the moon is on the other side of the earth. It is? Yes, I can't believe I forgot. The moon moves in a circle around the earth. What did Mama Ndege call that again? Orb. Orb. Orbiting. 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 Right. The moon orbits the earth, which means that it is constantly moving around the earth. So if we can't see the moon right now, that must mean it's on the other side of the earth from where we are. If the moon is orbiting the earth, then we can just wait here and let the moon come to us. It can't take that long. Try one whole month. Huh? Huh? Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it's true. The moon moves in a circle around the Earth. The moon cycle takes a full month. That's why each month, as the moon orbits the Earth, we see it go from a little slice that becomes thicker and thicker until we see a full moon. And then it gets thinner again until it seems to completely disappear. Hey, that's a lot of information, Kiduchu. But let's not panic. If the moon has already gone halfway around the Earth, then we only have to wait for half a month before it comes back around to us. Half a month. That's about two weeks. No way can Gedera go a whole two weeks without Pilau. Uh-uh. Uh. Whoa! Look at this! We might have just found a solution. Look at that! The moon! Huh? Are you sure that's the moon? But it's so dark. I thought it was meant to light the earth up at night. You're right, Amani. It looks like the moon only gives light to the sun, not the earth. The moon doesn't have its own light to give off. It reflects the sunlight like a mirror. What? I read it in my astronaut book. Outer space is so cool. Oh, I get it. We only see the moon where the sunlight hits it. The sun's rays light it up for us to see from all the way down on Earth. But because the moon is orbiting the Earth, the sun hits it in different ways, depending on where the moon is on its path around the Earth. So when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, 
the sunlight only hits the part of the moon that's facing away from the Earth, so we can't see it. And that's why on other nights the moon looks so bright. It's just reflecting the light from the sun. Why do I get the feeling that the sun is at the center of this? We found the moon! Now let's find that monkey friend of ours. Imagine if walking around Kokotoa could be like this. <laughs> it must be because there's less gravity here. Gravity is just an invisible force which pulls us down. There's less gravity up here than on Earth. So the force pulling us down is weaker. But less gravity means jumping is easier. Oh! But I bet playing football with less gravity would be funny. She shoots. She scores! She saves! <laughs> Do you think it's Ngadere? There's only one way to find out. To rescue him. Have you seen how steep those creature walls are? There's no way you'll manage to climb back out. <laughs> That's it! Gidere can jump his way out. If there's less gravity to pull him down, he should be able to bounce higher. Gidere! Gidere! Tsst. Up here! Tsst. Kedere! Amani! Kedocho! Kibena! You've got to help me! These alien babies are driving me nuts! I can't feel my tail anymore! And if another baby draws on my face! Listen, Kedere! You're going to have to jump as high as you can if you want to get up here! Go on, Kedere! You can you do can it! Do it Go on, jump! Jump! You can do it! You can do it, Kedere! Jump! To get more alien babies and get there. More aliens! More aliens! This is it! I think he's gonna make it! Uh oh! Oh! We can't lose him twice in one day! Guys? Guys? Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about me. I'm just a monkey on his own uh, in space. Ngedere, we would never abandon you. I know, I know. I shouldn't have doubted you. Oh, it's been a long day. I just want to get back to Kokotoa. I think we're with you on that one, Gedere. And I still need to finish my birthday. But how are we going to get back? We can blast ourselves back with these. We just need to be heading somewhere down. Huh? I was sure Africa would be right there. But now I don't see it. No, we're doomed to be up here forever and ever. But how will I survive without my precious pillow? Oh, and my beloved banana. Calm down, Gadere. The earth seems to be moving. Look, here comes Africa now. If we wait a little longer, I think it should be right below us. Oh, I see it now. It looks like morning is beginning down there. <gasps> morning? No! We've missed my birthday. Don't worry, Kiduchu. We can celebrate your birthday when we're back on Earth. 
You don't get it. We're up here in space while the Earth is going around the sun. That means I've missed out on completing my 12th journey around the sun. I'll have to wait another whole year to complete a full circle around the sun to finish my birthday. Maybe you won't have to. Look down there. That's the creature where we found Lidere. And now we're over here. Don't you see it? We're going around the moon. Oh yeah, how could I forget? That's one of the first things you learn in Astronaut 101. Everything in space will always orbit the biggest object near it. That's orbiting. Eh, what's orbiting? Did I miss something? Go ahead, Kibana. Orbiting just means moving in a circle around something. Aha! Orbiting! So we're orbiting the moon. And the moon is orbiting the Earth. And the Earth is orbiting the sun. <sighs> so all this time we've been on the moon, we're still going around the Earth, which is going around the sun. Yay! I've done it! I've completed my 12th journey after all. The Earth, the Earth, spinning on its axis. It spins round once a day. It spins round once a day. The moon, the moon, the moon is orbiting the Earth. It goes round once a month. It goes round once a month. First, talk later, okay?
Wow, you kids are strong, huh? You should see my muscles. Aha! Uh -huh. I should have asked you to help me. Yeah, instead of taking a lift with those aliens. You mean you took a lift with them? Uh, get there. We thought you had been kidnapped. Well, they could have. Lucky they only wanted you to play with their babies. <laughs> you should never take lifts with strangers. Yeah, alien or no alien. If you don't know someone, you can't be sure if you can trust them. They might be dangerous. If a stranger asks you if you want to lift, just say, no, thank you. And if you need help, just call your super strong friends. <laughs> Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Obongo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Obongo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Obongo Kids family.